All right, we're at the Disney store and check it out, guys. They have the Creative Soul dolls like on full display. And look at this. So beautiful. So I have um, Rapunzel and Tiana, but I don't have these two yet. Um, oh my God, look at Snow White. They look so good in person. I just can't get them home. So I'll order them on Disney, Shop Disney. This is for me, right? Kidding. This is really cool. Who's your favorite? Gorgeous. Who's the best one? I really like Tiana. I'm, Snow White is probably my favorite, but my favorite, I have Rapunzel and I think she's amazing. She's They're really beautiful. Alrighty, we're upstairs and this is where all the like, I guess kid stuff is, but this is where the um, dolls are, which is what we're interested in. Except the Creative Soul ones, which that was pretty cool, the variety. And then they have the Ellie's here and I was really shocked to see this. I'm honestly tempted, but not for $500, which is a retail. But look, I don't have a Bell 17 inch yet, but I'm gonna trust that they're gonna make more for us. Although it was just the anniversary, so probably not. <laughs> and then they have the, it's not a D23 exclusive set, but that's where I got mine from. And then this, the newer version of Tiana. Beautiful. And Tinkerbell's still here. And this is in Times Square, if you're wondering. <laughs> I want this! So finally, because these aren't in stock like anywhere in Alabama from what I found. I'm gonna get a gift. Yeah, it'll be forever, dogs. I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, this is I've been trying to get these so desperately, but none of my targets have them. So like, ooh, I want them. Okay, so we have Snow White, Ariel, and all the fashion packs, which I can't wait till they release new characters. And then there's more fashion packs. And I love the Rapunzel like locker set and stuff. This is so cool. Cinderella. And over here we have Jasmine. Which Jasmine is so cute. And look at all this. Uh, oh. Obviously, we're getting Tiana, duh. Yeah, and that looks amazing. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> I've, been, I've been looking forward to this trip specific, honestly. Well, there's a lot of reasons I wanted to go to New York, obviously. But I specifically wanted to get these so I've been like waiting to get them until I could get them in person so I'm really excited uh, but I can't get them all because we have to fly home. I didn't know they did um kid size merch too so that's really cool. Isn't that cute? Yeah. This part I'm just going to be narrating over and uh, I know some of you guys don't like when there's background music. It's because Disney plays really loud copyrighted music in their stores so I have to. Uh, but I just wanted to show you all the dolls up closer and like do a slow pan of everything. S slow in my eyes. When I was filming this it felt slow but uh, you can see what's going on with everything. I'm really excited. I didn't know about all these sets so... I love you forever. I live in Alabama. I could not find a single store that had them anywhere near me and I tried every Target and I've been really bummed about it. So I've been really excited to be able to go to New York City and get them at the actual Disney store, um, especially one of these like flagship Disney store locations. That was super cool. And I have looked at the dolls quite a bit, even though usually before I get the dolls, I try my absolute best not to spoil anything. With these, I just couldn't help myself. I'm in love with them. These are probably going to be like doll release of the year. It's just that I'm <laughs> almost two months late at this point because I think they came out February 1st and it's mid-March. Yeah, I just, I couldn't find them. I really tried um, and I was really bummed and I didn't want to just order them online. I was really, really hoping they would just turn up at a Target near me, but it seems like none of my Targets are Disney Targets, which is weird because there's no Disney stores anywhere near me and it seems like the function of a Disney Target is to replace uh, Disney stores for areas that aren't going to have Disney stores, like Alabama. I don't know. Um, but anyway, these are really, really cool. I really like the fashions and the little accessory sets. These almost remind me of the same functionality as American Girl, where you buy like a few of the dolls and then you get a ton of stuff for them. And I really like that strategy. I think it's super cool. And yeah, so that was the display on the day that I went. Alrighty. I wanted to show the I Love You Forever section again, just as it looks now, because I'm sure it'll change. So the store displays are this big lighted display, and then the group photo and the Tiana alone photo. Uh, really cute. And I love these displays too. So they've got the different characters wearing other characters' fashion packs. So you can see Tiana's wearing, that's marked Aurora, by the way, and it's clearly just Maleficent. So that's really funny that they did that. <laughs> um, and the dolls are just kind of random. Like sometimes, there will be another doll in the row that seems to be for somebody else, and the fashion packs are even more mixed together. So it's really strange. Um, but the, it's very, very cute. And I like the merchandise line a lot too. And you can see this like little heart one, and the donuts, and balloons, and different things. And yeah. I do actually really like Jasmine. I don't feel like I've seen a lot of people talk about her. She has like, really cute. I don't know, but these two are like the best by far, I think. Well, I really like Belle too. I like Belle. 
These are really sweet. Yeah. So sorry, I just really want to show that I love you forever because I'm telling you guys that's what I've been so excited about to come to New York to see that I love you forever is actually so much fun. Oh, these are I love you forever outfits too. Cute. So look, they've kind of changed this castle section. It's really sparkly. Like, can you see how sparkly that is? It's amazing. And then this is where the dolls are, but the classic dolls don't really have a lot of space. I don't know if they ever did in Times Square, but like at the Disney stores where I was, they would take up whole walls before and they just don't anymore. Uh, but they have Wendy still, which I thought she was gone by now. Um, and then they have stuff. And then over here, it's Lego set. It looks like it's open though. Maybe it was a return. And then we have Raya, we still don't have the Disney classic doll of Megara, Tink, tons of Tianas, and look how cute the little displays are with them in there. And then Raya, Esmeralda, I just need to look up like which Raya is the best one before I buy one. Um, and then Pocahontas, in terms of which year release, I mean it's probably the first release. And then over here, I love these little play sets, so this is Pocahontas. And I guess they only have Pocahontas' play set. Oh, Sisu too. Mm, tons of Esmeralda, a lot of Esmeralda, I'm shocked. See, it seems like they don't necessarily mean to stock these here because they don't have Cinderella. Oh, okay. And then we've got Singing Mirabelle. Very cute, it seems like Encanto has been like phased out. I don't really see a lot. I'm pronouncing it wrong, Encanto, sorry. I'm from Texas. Um, yeah. It's interesting that the characters that don't normally get dolls are the more common ones that I'm seeing. I'm not seeing like Cinderella and stuff, but I assume it's just because those ones sell faster. Wendy? Yeah. I still don't have her yet. Um, I think this is the one with the all glitter dress, which I can't stand. Yeah. I like the ones that don't have the glitter covering dresses. Because I love glitter, but the rough glitter that's just like glued on is not very nice. I don't know. All right, and then we have the Nuimo stuff, and apparently the outfits do fit dolls. They're quite expensive though, if you're just buying them to be a fashion pack for your current dolls. But I love the Anna and Elsa. Um, I just wish Elsa, like she comes in her, like literally Elsa's worst outfit by far. So, <laughs> no, I'm good. Um, and then you can see more outfits here. They're really, really cute. They're like amazing quality, which is why they're so expensive. But yeah, really cute. I really like the lounge fly backpacks. Those are super cool. Um, just more Nuimos, quite a bit, but it's weird that it's just tucked in this corner here because it used to have like a huge area, but now it doesn't. Um, pretty cool though. Alrighty, and then here's Encanto. So they do have Encanto stuff still, a whole display actually. I was shocked that they seemed to not, but I was wrong. What is this out? <laughs> um, I have this, I just haven't reviewed it yet, but I do have it to review for you guys, so sorry. Um, and then these are new. They used to look different than this. Now they look like this. Look how cute. It's like a little playset with like different implements, but it looks like an oven and it's, I mean, I guess the animators are toddlers. So if you want your toddler to cook, I guess that's a, a pretty good size. Oh, look at, oh, frog, it's so cute. I, it's probably Naveen, but I, I don't want to say Naveen because that's not a baby frog. That's a frog, not a tadpole, you know? That'd be cute if she came with a little tadpole instead. Um, yeah, I think that's all the dolls. I don't know. I Love You Forever is like huge because Disney hasn't really been pushing dolls at all. Um, they just had the Ellie's. Some animators, which, where are the animators, by the way? I didn't see almost any. I saw, I saw some Tiana's somewhere. I saw a little animators. I'm not a, I'm not a big animator person, so I'm not crying about the loss, but, um, oh, I saw some minis over there, too, the mini animators, which I actually like. I actually like the bros. <laughs> Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Use my, use my affiliate link. Bye. All right, check these out. So we have Miss Marvel and... Who is this? America Chavez. Sorry, I've, I have not seen either of these, but these are really nice. Really nice. You can see me. <laughs> um, but I almost missed these dolls. They look great and only $30. Pretty cool. All right, I'm very behind on Star Wars, clearly. I have absolutely no idea who this is. Oh, is she from Mandalorian? The, the crown. The, the crown? Oh my God, the helmet. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's a really nice doll. Absolutely no idea what she's from, other than Star Wars. Really cute doll though, I've never even seen this one. I had a vague recollection of a Tiana one and they had her, she's just tucked in this corner. I think this one's discontinued. Maybe she's with Oswald and the White Rabbit. Yay! I wanted this one, so I'm gonna get her. She's $20? Um, Cause they expect you to spend your money on the- Yo, so we're Mr. Rosetta. All right, so now it's time for the haul. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this. I got the Nuimos Tiana. So these are really cute, but for $20, like it's a plushie, you know? But 
Tiana's my favorite Disney princess, so the fact that they made her, I had to get her. There's a few other characters that if they did them, I would think about getting them, uh, but it just depends how they turned out, and I got Tiana. I don't know if I'll ever buy her the new fashion packs or anything. If one comes out that I think is super cute, I'll buy it, and if you don't know what these are, they're these really nice little jointed dolls, plush doll hybrid things, so they have joints in their legs. It's really just a wire, and then also in the arms and I don't think there's anything anywhere else it's just the legs and the arms and then the head can't turn either but I think the idea of these is they're meant to be your little like companion when you go to Disney World that's my guess because they have like lounge fly backpacks and different little outfits and yeah I just think they're really cute and because they made Tiana I had to get her and she was $21 I really love her so really happy to add her to my collection of Tiana things she's really cute I don't know I just thought the face was really precious and everything Mwah. Can't quite 100% guess her. I still need to wash her, but <laughs> okay. And then the next thing that I got, this is the rest of the haul, is I Love You Forever stuff. So I couldn't get a whole lot. I said it in the doll hunt, but I flew to New York City, so I couldn't buy as much stuff as I wanted to. I didn't get to buy anything at the American Girl store. I bought very little at the Disney store, and it's just because I couldn't get it back home on a plane, you know? Uh, so I and they have websites that ship relatively fast so I can just order the stuff that I wanted online but I really really wanted to like get a doll souvenir for my trip to New York City because you guys who live in New York City I feel bad for you because there's no dolls like I don't know where you are getting your dolls unless like you're going to Jersey to go to Target and stuff um because even the Target I mean are there even Targets in New York City with dolls I assume there are I assume there are and I'm sure you guys have your spots but it's rough I found one at a Japanese thrift store and I fell in love with her but my friend that was with me uh, wanted her more, so I relinquished her. Um, but man, uh, my Brett actually found that doll. It was so cool, but it's fine. I'll f I'd rather my friend have her. Anyway, so here's what I got for the I Love You Forever dolls. But anyway, these are like special because they are dolls commemorating my New York City trip. And again, I really don't get dolls when I go there because they just aren't there. Um, so first I got the Cinderella fashion pack. I'm kind of going in <laughs> suspense order because I don't think I actually told you guys what I got when I was at the store. Uh, so here's the Cinderella fashion pack. And I, I said this in the video, but the reason I'm so excited about these is because with fashion dolls, you very rarely hit the similar mark that like American Girl dolls hit where it's you buy less dolls and more of their stuff. So live dolls are an example of that. At least when live dolls were coming out, I thought like, oh my gosh, these are kind of similar to American Girl in that they have these like accessory packs that were really really like detailed and nice and they had like fashion packs and the extra wigs and stuff it just reminded me somewhat and I don't mean of American Girl dolls literally like they're not like American Girl dolls but it's the extra stuff that they had I just really like that and that's kind of what I love you forever it seems to be it's like you pick your favorite one and then you buy her a bunch of stuff and I love that marketing tactic it is very fun and fashion dolls don't touch it very much because fashion dolls want you to buy as many fashion dolls as possible and it's kind of hard to do it because fashion is the most expensive part of a fashion doll i feel like so that's why they generally won't do fashion packs because people are like why would i spend 15 dollars on a fashion pack when the doll is 25 dollars like i don't know but anyway i'm i'm here for this and i'm really excited fashion packs have really fallen out of favor so I hope that these are at least successful for Disney so they keep making them because I super like these. Uh, so anyway, this is Cinderella one. Because I had to partially... Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> had to get them on a plane. I brought an extra suitcase just for these, but they still didn't fit. So I partially unboxed them so I could lay them flat and that worked. Uh, so I got the Cinderella fashion pack. Super nice quality. Oh my god, I'm so excited to unbox this and put it on a doll. And then the other fashion pack that I got, duh. I got the Rapunzel one. I mean... I'm saying duh because like the quality, I mean not the quality necessarily, like the pants aren't the best, but the, I just really like the style of this. Like I feel like if I showed you all the fashion packs and you're like, which one did you get, Brooke? You would probably pretty accurately pick these two. Um, I wasn't super into Tiana's extra sets. I'm still probably going to get them, but I hope she gets more like casual ones. Uh, but look, she comes with a journal, which I know this is probably isn't intentional, but it reminds me of Tangled the Series, which is very cute. She comes with a little composition notebook and this beautiful little necklace, backpack, she yes oh yeah cinderella has a watch by the way which i love it's super cute and yeah this one's just really really nice i love the sweater love the sweater this is definitely the better bang for your buck here but i like this one I, I like the style i like the style all right the dolls that i got first i'll show you the one that duh i'm getting like you knew i was gonna get this one i got the one based on tiana so if you don't know what the point of these dolls are by the way they're supposed to be characters disney bounding at or like girls disney bounding as the characters so this isn't a doll of tiana in casual clothes like a lot of people were really 
uh, confused and saying like really hateful weird things about um, like changing the race of the characters. But that's not what's happening. They are in they're Disney bounding. So this is the girl whose favorite character is Tiana and she's Disney bounding as Tiana. And then the fashion packs are also Disney bound. So you get like a Rapunzel Disney bound. If you don't know what Disney bounding, sorry. <laughs> that's like when you dress dress like a character, but you're not literally wearing the character's outfit. You're kind of wearing things inspired. So like the Corona Sun on the shorts here, on the Cinderella outfit, there's a little Cinderella's carriage patch and the watch and the color scheme, the silhouettes they use, you know? So anyway, this one is wearing Tiana themed stuff. So she's got like a New Orleans shirt. She's got this really cute little water bottle with Naveen kissing on it. Um, and then this... Uh, Got a little like mardi gras themed bracelet here very very cute they all seem to come with this balloon and it maybe oh maybe there's a secret item that would make sense because the balloon is i haven't watched any unboxings as much as i wanted to um i'm assuming because the balloon is shaped funny like it's not a full circle there's probably a surprise back there um but yeah she's so cute so nice so so nice and the dolls are just incredible quality i'm gonna be reviewing these for you guys even though i don't have them brand new in box i still think it'll be really fun and i really want to get my like first reactions to them on camera i'm really surprised this seems to not just be a hinge joint okay we'll get there don't spoil it okay and then the other one that i got this was actually a really difficult decision um i had to ask my friend peggy who was with me in the video i don't really think you heard her very much in the video um she was kind of away while i was filming um and then brett as well um i asked them and this is the one that they both kind of agreed on i was between jasmine snow white and probably Belle. i really liked Belle, but um this is the one we went with. We went with Snow White. Um, I mean, this is kind of an obvious choice. I think she's really nice. I think this is very much like, and it's Snow White, so it makes sense. This is very much like kind of a main character for the brand. At least that's what the outfit looks like to me. And I thought this outfit was just really impressive and nice. And I really liked the base doll too. She's really, really cute. But like, she has glasses too. Sold. Sold. So cute. And this is like, is this a cardigan? Whatever this is. This little jacket thing. And I love that she's wearing this like crop top with overalls. This is just like a very comfy outfit, but it's also so theme park. And I'm not just saying that because of the Mickey ears, which I've never owned those. Just thought about that. Um, they all have them, of course. So you can see the Tiana ones here and the Snow White ones here. Um, aren't these just amazing? So I mainly was picking them based on the outfits because I'm gonna buy the other ones. <laughs> like I know I'm going to. It was just like, I was really, really making sure like the first two I picked that I like super, super liked them. So yeah, these were the ones that I went with. And I can't wait to see more characters. I did notice that they have only one thing representing Sleeping Beauty and it's marked as an Aurora thing, but it's literally for Maleficent. So it's kind of strange. I hope we get an actual Aurora thing at all because uh, Brett's favorite is Aurora and it would be really cool to have one of her. And she's just a cool character anyway. So yeah, those are the things that I got during the doll hunt that you guys got to see. Not too much. It was kind of, well, I was limited by bag space. Otherwise you probably would have seen a lot more, but I had a lot of fun. I can't wait to start adding the like furniture packs and stuff to my collection. And I'm trying to decide where to display these. I think I'm actually going to display them with Projects MC Squared and Liv because they don't really, I don't think they're going to go with the Disney dolls. Like, they won't really look right with the Disney dolls. I have other Disney bounding dolls that were released, like, in the early 2000s that are really cool. Um, before Disney bounding was even a thing, they were doing it. Um, they were, like, theme park fangirl dolls. It was so cool. Um, but I display those with, like, Lottie Da and all of those. So, and I, I like how they look there. And these have, like, inset eyes. They're a similar scale to live. I think they'll go well there. Anyway, you'll see them in a doll room tour eventually. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye!